Hello and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to be doing something that I never do. I'm going to be shooting an unboxing video and I'm pretty excited about this. Now why am I so excited about an unboxing video? Well a few weeks ago the good folks at GoCNC contacted me and asked me if I'd like to receive one of their machines to try it out. Well my first thought was that sounds pretty interesting but I wasn't really familiar with GoCNC. So I looked them up on the internet checked out their website and watched several of their videos and I have to say I was really impressed. So I agreed to partner with them and I received this machine in the mail a couple of days ago. So I'm pretty excited to see what's in this box. So let's get started with the unboxing. Okay considering this box has come all the way from Germany it's not in too bad a shape. It does have a little bit of uh, damage here actually it's ripped open right here and somebody's uh, put some more packing tape on it but hopefully it's packed well and nothing is damaged or hopefully nothing fell out of the hole before they taped it back up I see that somewhere along the line coming from Germany uh, somebody decided to put a political message uh, on the box for me well, let's take a look and see what we've got here this looks like a Probably a packing list. Uh, let's see what we got. Yep. I have a packing list in both uh, English and German, looks like. So I'll set that aside. And let's cut this thing open and see what's in here. Okay, let's see. Got some stickers. That's pretty sweet. I'll add them to the board. Let's see what this is. I think, I believe this is, uh, oh, okay. A calendar. Very cool. I'll hang that up somewhere as well. Okay, now looky here, got some, uh, I don't know what they call these in Germany, I guess this is, looks like gummy bears here, <laughs> that's pretty cool, I certainly didn't expect that in the package, here is the, this is the Go CNC G Code Processor 3D, uh, this will work with Windows, Linux, or a Mac. Uh, you can see it's got a parallel connection here and a USB connection here and then of course a spot for the uh, power supply. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. This is, according to the packing list, it said something about a suction kit. So I'm guessing that this is uh, the vacuum hose and it's got a little piece that goes around the uh, the router or the spindle the packing list also said there was a uh, a, a kit to uh, clamping kit so this looks like some uh, different size clamping things for clamping to the table clamping the workpiece down see what we've got here this is a sunny deal notebook Toshiba satellite so I'm not sure what let's open this up real quick and see what's in here I can get it open this does look to be fairly well packed so um, I don't see anything that looks like it may have gotten damaged it looks like some of these parts may have uh, been sharp enough to try to hit, uh, cut that box open, but maybe there, maybe there's nothing damaged here. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, this is the uh, power supply for uh, for the G-code processor, I'm assuming. And another uh, power supply here, or power cord, uh, which I'll need to get some kind of an adapter for that, looks like. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Got some steppers. Yep, 1.8 degree steppers. So I'll set those over here. Okay, so we've got the stepper motors right there. This, I believe, is part of the controller. Yep, one of the printed circuit boards. And this is the one of the covers. It looks like uh, like a fan goes there, I guess. Okay, here we have some decals or stickers that go on the machine. Um, these are obviously go on the stepper motors and some different labels for, uh, for different things. This is a whole bunch of goodies in here looks like. There's A belt. This, I believe, is one of the side covers. There's all kinds of hardware in here. This is for the CNC Studio USB. And again, it has the parallel port and a USB port. Lots of bags of hardware. which I'm assuming is going to all be metric. Uh, this looks like another cover of some kind. And let's see what else we've got here. This is some of the bearings and the uh, sprockets as well as the uh, Acme nuts I guess is what that is. For the with a threaded rod. Here is a uh, USB cable, parallel cable, a fan, there's some grease, there's some oil. Here is a uh, some of the limit switches and different connectors. Uh, looks like there's an e-stop down there, an on on switch. On off switch I should say. So a lot of good stuff in that box. Now let's take a look at what we have here. This is uh, some wiring. Uh, I believe this is uh, to help keep the dust prevention out on the panels from what I saw in the video. And it's got some uh, nice little wiring harness here to keep everything organized. There's another bag with some hardware. Not sure where that piece goes, but I'm sure it will tell me. We've got, uh, I believe this is part of the Z axis. We've got, uh, there's the Acme rod. 
right there. It was packed nicely inside here so it wouldn't get damaged. We've got these are what I refer to as the uh, uprights or the uh, gantry sides. There you can see this is the one for the uh, stepper motor. This is also part of the uh, z-axis assembly I believe. This is where the spindle goes and I believe this is the front and rear pieces part of the frame and then this is some more more of the frame here this is very well packaged with uh, the shrink wrap and everything it looks doesn't look like any of this got got a scratch on it coming all the way from Germany so that's uh, that's pretty amazing in itself there so and then this is the table you can see it's got the T slots this is the aluminum table and it looks like it's in two halves so I hope I can get this other one out of here and again just looking at this over everything looks nice and flat it looks like anything at all got bent another little piece I'm not sure what that is but I'll make sure I hold on to that so anyway that looks like that's everything in the box so the next step for me to do now is to start putting this thing together which I am very excited to do okay so I've been studying this uh, assembly instruction manual and man this is just super great uh, very detailed pictures uh, they've got this little piece that pulls out here that shows every single part uh, even the little wire connectors and everything tells you what you're supposed to have how many of them you're supposed to have um, just super detailed so I think this thing is going to be pretty easy other than uh, you know as far as putting it together other than there's a lot of stuff to put together because there's a lot of hardware and, and different things but uh, if you want to learn more about uh, go CNC I'll leave a link down below in the description please check out their website keep in mind that this is company is in Germany so uh, if you're in the US or uh, you know speak English you'll have to make sure to be able to understand what you're looking at go up to the top of the home page and there's a little drop down box you'll see like a German flag there you can click on that and it'll drop down to a British flag so you can click on that and it will change the language to English and then you can also the prices uh, have a thing where they're in euros I believe so you can drop that down and put US dollars and it makes it a whole lot uh, easier for somebody like me to uh, understand what I'm looking at. So, but I want to thank the, the folks at uh, Go CNC for sending me this. I can't wait to get it together. I didn't want to make this unboxing video too long, so I'm going to cut this one off right here. Uh, but I'll be recording uh, the steps and how to assemble this, following this step by step. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. And uh, thanks for watching.